How does one reach the desert? We need to head back to the village, then leave by the East Gate. I imagine a tome such as myself will find an arid desert climate quite delightful. What's up? I'll wait outside. What? Why? It's way safer inside the village. It's fine. I like being alone. If you head out from another exit, I'll just meet you there. You sure? I know Yona would be really excited to meet you. <sighs> Don't force the issue now. Her mind is clearly made up. Not everyone loves the company of others as much as you, hmm? All right. I won't push it. See you in a bit. So, what's facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. <sighs> Let's go. What is this? A fountain? Wolves! Look out! appears to be the pack leader.
The gate is sealed tight. Well, great. Guess we're not getting in. Where, where is she going? <laughs> you know these guys, Kaine? Not exactly. Suppose a quick stroll about town is in order. The language they use here is pretty crazy. So, uh, good luck with that. I'd wager that huge structure is the King's Manor. How do we even get there? With willpower and smarts, my lad. Um, what are they saying? Fascinating. They speak a language I have never before encountered. Arutura I feel bad that I can't understand them. You could speak a thousand tongues and still fail if you lack knowledge of another's culture. Come on, Vice. Help me out already. I am a brilliant book of unspeakable value, not some dog-eared travel guide. We're just going in circles here. If only we could speak to the locals, I've no doubt we'd have little trouble reaching the King's Manor. We'll just have to suss out a route on our own. We finally made it all this way. Oh, this is pointless. Let us go back. one lacks the power of speech. Perhaps she can communicate through gesture. Let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. I am Fira. Do you need help? Yes. We came here to talk to your king. But it turns out we can't actually talk to anyone. I can guide you? Oh, she will act as our guide. 
How fortuitous. But first, I must explain this town. We really just need to see the king. No, there are rules to follow. Follow me. Well, there you have it. It would seem we are impeding progress. Six, the reason for your labyrinthine system of staircases. Well, I suppose eccentric people deserve an eccentric town. It would seem we are impeding progress. Ar could possibly be the point of such an absurd rule. Hold on. Your people are still making rules? Of all the idiocy, I could never live in this city. So the aristocracy lives in the top levels, while the commoners subsist below. Seems like a rather unpleasant rule for those on the bottom. Does this girl plan to drag us about the entire town in this fashion? She's just following the rules, Vice. No king? The Black Scroll. Thank you. All of this touring has been helpful for understanding your language. I believe I will be able to speak with this advisor myself. We need to talk to the prince. The Kaidam, Tadai Zaitu to Wai Distaidik Aratate Shitetasu Oi. My patience for this kind of thing has long ago evaporated. It's not your fault, Fira. Let's go back to Kaine for now.
finish your business? Yeah. Thankfully, we met a girl who helped us get around. A girl? Slow down, I can barely... The person who saved me... Surely you don't mean Kaine. Kaine helps you. This foul-mouthed hussy... Piss off, book. You guys done or what? Kainda! Kairam to Yuri says a Kainda! Eh? Ya, Arteru, Kenkansu Yuri Nguchi, Jinkuru, Gitaiso. What's going on? Kairam za itasta! Get Taiso to Kisazate, Kazakichi Isataito! Daza, Yuri say it's Taza! Irato Kinden Tandayori! Eh? Arteru, Zonzo Suchi Gutata, Tara Taichi! Why'd they make a bunch of rules that contradict each other? This is their way and their system of laws. As outsiders, we have no say in the matter. Frida, Elpa, Karetai! Hmm. That rule only forbids your people from entering the temple, right? So why not ask an outsider to save your prince? Oh, and what luck! We just happen to have an outsider who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others right here. I'm going to. Fira told me about Rule 1024. You know that one. Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. That's how it goes, right, Fear? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do-gooders? Let's move.
beware the wolves. This sand is too much. I can barely open my eyes. The moment I open my mouth, the sand rushes inside. Do you even have a mouth? How does Vera deal with this? Perhaps there is some manner of filter inside that mask of hers. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings. Stay close to the girl now. Vera sure is brave, isn't she? For such a minuscule body, she seems to possess almost boundless stores of energy. Seem we are impeding progress. Wolves, look out. This girl must possess extreme patriotism. Look how she gives all for the sake of her prince. Thanks for your help. What was that supposed to mean?
doesn't bother. I wonder what this prince is like. The man is tasked to protect his people, and yet he's made them toil to save him. I think that tells us everything we need to know. That he is an incompetent fool. Did I just hear someone? Where did you come from, boy? Ugudato? Ah, Santo to Daishim, Kairamu de Argo. Wait, seriously? But you're just a kid. Tsutsuki! Tato Skitchi! Leiji! Huh? What? Karuna! The space between my pages feels... crunchy. I'm covered in sand. Take care before all your health is lost. Starting to piss me off! Kaine! What in the. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Let me go! Let me. I'm gonna kill you when I get out of here! I assume we'll have to find her as well. Yep.
madcap barrage of rules shows no signs of slowing. Easy, Vice. We need quiet or we're gonna mess this up again. Tch. These masked folks suddenly enjoy their bizarre customs. I wonder what drove them to make such complicated rules. This doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> I suppose that was to be expected. 
Hey, look! inside. Without any rules to bind us, we are free to unleash the entirety of our powers. It's about time. What is this thing? Protect magic within the glowing cubes. How mindless. The guardian of this temple is a curious sight indeed. Says the talking book. is a powerful foe. There you are, you bastard! Kaine! I'm gonna kill the shit out of you! Now hold still and die already! It's me. I just kicked a bunch of ass and wound up here. And without even bothering to get dressed. Fuck off, book. Kylie, the glowing cubes take priority. Screw your priorities! I'm gonna kill this thing my way! This should prove interesting. Item. 
リウリスサラとオタチ。カイザムセとペルオ。カイザムデサラとユート。シアトとウサトチウレシグ。ツグコスキサオサラエオ。ペルア。カイザンアカイサラトアヤーリ。アトルルカイラムオしてキルタチエクグギリスアガイウカンヤリカイザムアッチエテスレそれでカイザムチタレルチロンテクカイラムカイザムユーリことさらたインターゾスペルワとカイザンセテテツサワゴレトルヨーリー Oh, no, that's all right. We were just happy to help. ヘンリタンサクルタトウゴー I believe the regent has just given us an order. I guess so. In that case, how about you make rule zero and have it say that if people don't like a rule, they can vote to change it? A splendid idea. Yori Saro Elpa Chisuta Perua to Ludos Onji Wakureta Perua to to Tatoda Anda Sankito City Neo Kaisam Saratoa Sietekita Koski Uka. Thanks. But I think most of your praise belongs to someone else. Kewatata. Do you know how to cure the black scrawl? So soon, yo. Rise up. So even a king couldn't recover from it. Ah. De. It seems there is no way around it. We'll have to collect the sealed verses after all. Yeah, it's the only lead we have. Win Kareki Soto? We came across an old song that says if we find them all, we can cure the Black Scrawl. And yes, we are well aware that refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups are hardly a reliable source of information. Hey, I'll believe anything if there's even a sliver of hope it could help me save Yona. And I'll collect verses, orbs, crystals, magic goat meat, whatever. Ah, ado. Ta, akoji, stesure taisa. Sondo, todachi, tokite. Of course. Just try not to get yourself kidnapped again. I'm worried about Yona. Let's go back. Arteria, Jikita.
Yona? Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Better, now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Good. Um, by the way, are you gonna stay here today? You bet. Really? You'll stay with me? Really? <laughs> yeah, Yona. I'll stay. Yay! Now get back to bed. Okay. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. Morning. <clears throat> Morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I had a dream too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream. And forest of myth. But don't worry, I'm gonna study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime too. Sure, Yona. <sighs> Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, I need to go ask Popola something. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way. I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. Quizzical. What's going on? Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? See here, are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes, I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Ridiculous, preposterous, completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Grimoire Vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gasbag of a narrator. It has demolished it utterly. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already.
Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what.
a sealed verse. That didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. So how was the village? Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words. Really. Huh. Neat. Let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. Get out of my way! I have to save Yona! Calm down. You cannot prevail if you are blinded with rage. Death Dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried, so maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. A canal, is it? Fascinating. If we had a ferry, we could put these days of endlessly running about behind us. Don't you just float everywhere anyway? Do you think I am borne aloft by the winds, lad? It takes stamina to maintain this height. Oh, really? 
You could at least try to hide the utter dismay, you know. I am starving. A city of this size must have some manner of eatery nearby. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh god, it's over. My life is over! <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? you do that for me? Sure. Er, uh, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, alright? You sit tight. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or three? Uh, sorry ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Voila! One bowl of our local specialty, sardine pasta. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, 
I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Hey, wait! Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Pobla. said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? Um... Well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south, and he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him. Please? Yona, listen. Please? Great. Now what do I do? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't! Shut up!
How can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? It is hardly what one would call especially fertile ground. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, right this way. Please, wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? Uh, perhaps we should head back, yes? Hmm. Where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever listen to me?
What's this? The picture has changed. Looks like it's in pain. It's kind of scary. Yes. Come now. Brave faces. Uh, onward and upward, eh? Yes. Shades! What foul hole did they crawl from? You're a male. Young. Not even 20. You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <clears throat> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway... I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor, so if you'd like my assistance... No, please, don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. Ah. 
Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez. Remind me to never get on your bad side. What's that? A butler. Or at least a remarkable likeness of one. I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. Shades! Is that another one? Hmm. <laughs> it moves. What's going on here? Sir? What is this? Oh, this is my butler. He helps me out around the manor. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible. Almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold. And I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss... Y Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you... Defeat the Shades, and restore Master Emil's sight. 
You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, we've no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's gotta be some help, right? I can't let you do this on your own, so I'll be right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah. I do not like anything about this place. Looks kind of like you, Vice. Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. <laughs> Pages of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. Oh no! I can't petrify it! And where have you been, hmm? Lost. Where have you been? Getting stomped by this thing. Help! I suppose strength is beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. You guys run! I'll hold it off while you escape! Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this... Fuck! This book is a real asshole! She's not even listening. She's too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go! This is my fight! I can't ask you to die for me! Vice, this is it! Research report on petrification. Well, well. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! We went through all this trouble to find it, and now... Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Emil, listen to me. Uh, what is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? What's this? A shade? How did you... This arm is an accursed weapon. I thought I would only need it until I had earned my revenge. Once that happened... <laughs> I figured it was all over. But there's a reason I'm alive, that my arm is alive. And there's a reason for your eyes, too. Kaine! But listen, if this shade should ever... I promise I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. Hmm. 
I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. <sighs> Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Mm. Mm. Speak the truth, hussy! Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. Yona, you need to lie down. I know. It won't be much longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. It sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? <laughs> of course I will. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. <sighs> Yona? You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Yona's looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the... Popola, Yona's cough is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. I hate to ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. Vapor moss, huh? I'll be right back.
meal. What is it? What happened? Hurry. Emil! He doesn't seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. Are you all right, Emil? I can... see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air... it's vibrating. I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. Oh god, there's so many of them. Get out. Get out of the village. The shades are coming. Huh? Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. Shades are attacking! The hell's going on? No time! Get everyone into the library! Please, make sure Yona's safe. Don't worry. I'll grab her. Just don't get yourself killed, alright? I won't. Now go, Devola. Hurry! We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can! I'll kill every last one of you! Hurry! Hurry! Get the wounded to the library! What is that brute? No, no, but we gotta take it down. Okay, that's not good. A regenerating shade! How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out! Climb up from here! Look where it's 
headed. Like hell it is. That doesn't look good. We can't let it get to the library, no matter what. This isn't working. So what do we do? You guys having a good time? Huh? Kaine! Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's gotta start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Either one works for me. Let's go! You're almost there. Keep pushing. It's heading toward the library. No, that's where Yona is. You're gonna die today, shithog. Shithog? Oh, come now. That's not even a real word. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. I'm glad you noticed. You really know how to put up a fight, Kaine. Come on, keep pushing it! Son of a bitch! Oh no, Shade's in the library. Yona! Emil, are you okay? I can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now. You told me once that my eyes had value, and that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. 
You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil. Just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Let's take care of these shit hogs. I like it. We can't let any more shades in here. Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? Trace it to the basement and seal it there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. Works for me. Great. I love basements. Do it. Knock it down the basement. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Yoda! Is that the leader of these creatures? Finally. Where am I? It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? What is this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? Do you not remember, Grimoire Vice? We two serve a higher purpose. Enough lies! Stay back! Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous! Your denial is preposterous! We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. 
<laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never! Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. We shall become as one, you and I. Become one. Vice, you dumbass! Cry me. Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry! Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace! How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord! Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord! Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <sighs> I am one with the Shadow... Huh? Bitch. We grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. <sighs> paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. <laughs> but... I promise I won't forget you. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's... that's not all I'll do. <sighs> you hear me? I'll chase you till the end of time, and I'll bring you back to us. So, Vice, please. Please come back. Damn it, we need to stop him. If we don't do something, that black book will absorb Vice. Black. White. Black. White. Yes, now we shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Vice! 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 We've got to... For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, and it is not to be abbreviated. V Vice? Vice? Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite! We must become as one! I don't like you, and I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back! Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Vice! It's almost too much trouble, but they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks.
Damn you. Our true memories are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my margins, hmm? I can't use my magic. Then you are the last one left, Noir. Stand in time. Get up! No! Give my sister back! No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! 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 Are you okay? Yona... Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. W we Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. Kaine, no! Oh, quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? <laughs> Kaine? Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! No more crying, okay? Grow strong. 
Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. Wait for me, Yona. Wait for me, Gaine. <laughs> <laughs> 